Yeah, guys, welcome back. So uh, today um, we like to discuss about how to get the table data from the website. Okay. Uh, so you have seen uh, the previous uh, videos also on import XML, which is a fantastic function in Google Sheets. Now uh, I'm going to discuss uh, again uh, this function, uh, but this time we will extract the website data, the tables, right? And and the funny part is for me is that you know there's no coding actually. Okay, of course, uh, using the the coding, uh, whether it is, you are using VBA Selenium or any web uh, uh, scrapping tool, or maybe any other language like Python, the coding uh, has no comparison with all these things. But you know, for somebody who doesn't want to go into the analytics field and you are stuck in this kind of a job that you want to get the data from the website, you know, the tables. So you, without using the coding, you can do that. Okay, so. Now the first thing is that uh, I'm going to actually use the two websites. You can use any one. So this, if you the first website, uh, I'm going to show you this website. Just simply go and launch this, or maybe you can see that USA statewide population, and you will be on this website. So this is a website. Uh, let's go here. Okay. Now this is a website, obviously developed by web developers, and uh, so when they create the websites, you know they use the uh, we know that HTML, I have told you this, but uh, to create the tables, uh, like this is a table. Now, how I do, uh, how do I know that this is a table? Well, first thing is that, you know, it looks like a completely a table because you can double click here, you can copy and paste also the things, right? And the other part is that, so my point is, this is not looking like an image. This is a proper, uh, the table. And as you know that if I right click and say inspect, uh, tables are always uh, created by using the, or uh, table tags, table row tags, table data tags, table header tags, th, tr, td, and all that. Okay. Now you can see that it's taking me directly over here. Okay. And when it is taking me directly over here, if I hover on this th, th stands for table header. If let's say you do not know anything about the HTML. Okay. Header. So whenever uh, these guys, web developers, they give the headers on the website, they use this tag th. Okay, so you see anything which comes in, inside the th and of course there is a closing also This is something you have already now seen in my so many videos that in HTML There is always an opening tag and closing tag. So if I hover I can see that okay, this is going good, right? And this is where the table actually starts. So if we scroll down So table actually starts with the table tag and then it's child elements they come uh, and you know um, create the number of rows for the rows we have tr tag tr means um, the row okay table row so first row is stopping here and inside the first row this is what is the table header now headers are always a part of table you know that right we always give the headers so that's why you see here th but the moment you expand the another row this is the another row you can see but these dot 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 signs means that this can be expandable right and once I expand this, I can see TD. Now, what is the TD? TD means data. It's not a header, right? So when you create something in the headers, the header becomes bold and header comes on the top end. Uh, then, you know, under that header, you keep on writing the TD tags, table data, basically, right? So if I hover on this, you can see the, the one is coming. And then if I hover here, you know, the California is coming, right? So California is not showing here. Maybe if I double click, I can see that. Look at this right california is there it's under the a tag but finally it is closed by the td that's more important so um, my one of my students asked me that uh, uh, why they are actually not writing you know under the under the td tag only what is the uh, requirement of this can you explain he was not a obviously web developer he does not have any idea about the html you see uh, under the td what what defines is that this is going to be a data under the that specific row in this row right this is a second row as you know because the first row was this. So if web developer wants that he is going to create a hyperlink on one of the TD tag, he can do that. But how he's going to do that using the A tag, you must have seen my previous lectures, right? So if I go and write here the this California or any anything under the A tags, right? Then what happens, you will get the hyperlink over there. But since this all is a part of TD, this will actually create a, you know, the data. This will show uh, here as a data. So this is the only thing, right? Now, for example, here, if you see uh, in 2020 census, the number is coming 39538. This does not have any, uh, you know, hyperlink. So that means if I go here, there's no A tag used here. 
just a simple other attributes they are using like it should be aligned on the right and the whatever right even i'm not an expert <laughs> expert in HTML. so uh, once i hover here you can see i'm actually selecting the rows so one thing is sure that you know this is a table right now if you want to know more about the tables if you want to practice you can simply go and see that html table okay and pick this website called w3 schools i'll show you see this it directly takes you to the table section now this is how we write the tables you start the tag with the table and then you say this is my first row the closing of the row is called the end of that row and under that you give the headers like this so if i have to do the same stuff in my notepad i can do that so you want to create the table okay come with me so first you say that okay this is my table and i'm going to close the table right now inside the table let's say i say that okay i want here uh, you know the headers so header will be coming in the first row right so this is how you write the first row right this is your first row and if you have another row you, you again start the dl tag very simple right you can even write in the same line it's up to you okay but this way i think it's more structured right so when i go and say that okay the first row will have the headers if you don't want to give the headers fine you just don't use the th tag okay so let's say here i say that this is a serial number and then i close this th tag like this and there's another header that i want to give isn't it now this is taking a lot of space so we can say backspace and we can create in this way also right so i copy this and i say that serial number and let's say one more header which is let's say name okay now obviously now we are stopping the row so after the serial number you like to go and give the data so for that td tag counts because it's a data so i say that this is how it is okay now because there are two headers so we need the two data points isn't it so i say that okay this is my let's say xyz any name you know and then i go and close this td tag make sense or not and then the row is closed now when you go and actually save this okay um this uh, the document this uh, this is just a uh, i mean a text file but there are a lot of other fantastic editors notepad plus plus and I, I think there are a lot of things right we don't want to get into that but if you save this detail with the name let's say i see that uh, tables html dot right now here i am going to simply change this extension to html and i save this okay i save this i keep this open i go in my uh, you know this uh, what you call the desktop and we like to see this is uh, you, you can see uh, a page is created i double click on this because of the html right now you can see that the page this uh, the table is created serial number name which are bold i did not use any special tag to make it bold because these are the headers and then one and then xyz of course then you go and give the borders you decide that how much space you have to keep between these if i have to you know go and create some hyperlink on this that that's that is something we will not do that okay and uh, one thing uh, you don't need actually uh, this uh, the double quote now you understood the point okay so tables so what you have learned is that tables actually using lot of things first you start with the table which says that okay this is the beginning of the table right so that's a table entire table that is called an entire table okay just a, a bit of knowledge i'm trying to give you and then you go and then use the the tr right inside the tr because table is nothing without the rows isn't it so this actually st stands for the entire row but how many rows you want to give well that depends uh, if you write four tr tags with their closings backslash tr you will get the four rows common sense right so if you go and use the td tag that basically refers to the table data the data which you go and in you know write inside that and the header header actually obviously every table has a data so then you for the headers you use the ts tag in this way okay now let's come to the now the actual the real part of this lecture uh, i like to go and you know use this website as you have seen this website has a table right and i guess there is just a one table in this website if you see right there's just a one table over here right there's nothing right it's, it's just a single table here i guess right well you can even go and find out that in the html but uh, i have seen it i think it's just a one table now the moment i write here import xml which uh, we have been doing this for a long time you know you go and give the website name here and then you give the website right now because it, it's a table so i want to go and get the table so you know how what is the rule right you write the two backslash and then you write the table 
right now i'm gonna tell you something very important see this see the moment i load this you often find that when you use the table tag when you use the table tag for you know to uh, using this import xml you often found the table is coming but it's not the it's not coming in the exact format right and uh, i have tried that you know okay maybe this is coming uh, um, row by row so let's change this to you know to, uh, just uh, try this transpose function right so i've done actually research quite a research on this but nothing actually changes right now this is quite uh, quite actually weird but now the thing is uh, so if you go, don't use the table tag and if you simply go and use the you know uh, the tr tag which refers to the row right you see that you will be able to find out the table now this is fantastic right so i have got the table here now you know this is a table is because we are using the transpose that's why you don't see exactly uh, this you know the table how it actually is coming on your screen because i have used the transpose but otherwise if you see the california and the number and the percent 11.91 percent this is giving you the right the right way you can see that right so anyways this is a bonus point for you just in case if you like to see the data in this way you can use the transpose but for us the transpose does not have any uh, place here okay i don't want to use this and bingo you see that i've got the data here okay so make sure that you have an internet because otherwise you will not be able to uh, use this function as i have said before also okay so this is very nice this is a good way of doing it right so it's it's quite simple right now the next thing which i want to talk about is that now imagine if um uh, th that you know uh, you have let's say multiple tables okay you have multiple tables in your website uh, for example i'll show you uh, i'm telling the easiest way okay i'm not saying that this can't be possible using the import xml but i personally feel that there is a easy uh, you know easier way uh, to find out the tables to uh, scrap the tables to extract the tables in case there are multiple tables and you want a specific table from a website now if you search on the google let's say india state population wise you know or whatever i mean you know you i'm just saying that just find out any website which has a lot of tables so i have this website right which is uh, our country and uh, the states and it's uh, it is telling you the population now on this website I see that there are multiple tables right now let the page uh, first of all uh, opens up okay now you see the page is loaded and this is a state wise population right so this is again a table tag we can inspect it and but the point is here you see there is another table coming here right if you go down there is another table right so these are the different different tables isn't it now you know that on the website this is the first table actually coming so the chances are pretty high this will be the first table you can inspect and you can also check if this is going to be the first table you know you you go here and you simply uh, say control f and then you can see that is this the first table so you know table starts with the first tag so the moment i write here table you see one of 11 which means that this is the first table out of 11 tables so this website actually has 11 tables and how i am sure that this is the first table because when you hover here you see we actually see that inside this table you know if i scroll here you see that you know there has to be something which should actually get highlighted in this right so if i go down you see that this is this is my uh, the state uttar pradesh right yeah you can see on the left side right so anyways even if you do not know if you're not so expert what you can do is now to scrap the tables i'm telling you another formula right thanks to the google sheets uh, we can even go and use the uh, import uh, this html function and many people prefer this html function especially uh, when they actually have to scrap the tables right now in the if you if you want to take the help of the this function if you want to learn more of course you can take the google help you know but uh, for me turn on the formula help first of all you just it's very simple basically what you do you give the website here first of all as i have given right and then in the query this is only meant for the tables and the list tags nothing more than that remember that this is not going to help you um, you know scrapping the other things as we were doing with the import uh, xml in the past right so if i want the table here you simply go and write the table 
right and then the next part which is the index here you go and write which actually table which number if i say i want the first table you write first if you say two you know you write here two provided the second table has to be there right let me press enter and let's see that if we can get the data or not right so it's still loading and you see that after some time this data is loaded right and i can align this in the center also right so in this now if i change now so this is our first table you can see i can always cross verify you know if we go back here and i just uh, uh, reduce this you see that so first state is uttar pradesh and then maharashtra so if i go here uttar pradesh maharashtra this is fantastic i just love this google sheet functions <laughs> right this is great now what if i say that okay i want the second table right so if you say second table you see that you should be able to see the second table if the website has okay so till the time this is uh, yeah so see this is loaded now right and one can see so if i go if i scroll down as a user even if i don't know the html you know i can still guess that this must be the second table unless there is some hidden tables in the website which you can't see and that web developer has created that's not the really so important because you can always change the index and you can find out which table you want so you see that this is a second table <coughs> where i have only uh, uh, 10 states right so i'm getting the answer so if i go and write a3 i will be able to get the the third table so guys now i leave it to you you know there is so much to explore there is so much to learn we learn and we pass on the information to you you learn and you pass the information to others there is no age for the learning and this is never going to stop you keep learning the more you get into this you find oh i wish i could know this also right so now i have a import a import html function also which we use for uh, tables okay and the list uh, and nothing more than that uh, but this we can also use to uh, scrap the tables at the same time the other tags like you might have seen the other lectures also i'm sure uh, h1 tags h2 tags p tags you know all that okay a tags everything